So hi everyone and welcome to this video on an example of our Carnot uh, oligopoly and our Carnot equilibrium which we discussed in the last video. And if you recall, we discussed uh, the components and the assumptions of a Carnot uh, type of duopoly wherein firms uh, set output decisions simultaneously and then try to optimize maximization of profit based on uh, the principles uh, outlined by Anton Augustine Carnot. So in this video, we're going to do a specific example on this uh, using calculus. And we have a problem here, which is uh, consider a market in which there are only two firms that produce a homogenous product. And uh, those two firms okay, um, have an inverse or face the inverse demand uh, function, which is Q, uh, P is equal to 100 minus 0 0.01 Q. And we note that Q is equal to the sum of the output of firm 1 and the output of firm 2, right? And that the firms act uh, independently in the Carnot model. Let's also assume that the cost function, so the cost functions of the firm are C1 is equal to 40 Q1 and C2 is equal to 40 Q2. So say a similar cost structure between the two firms. And we assume that uh, these two firms act uh, independently in this particular model. So the first uh, thing that we're asked is we need to determine the equilibrium, uh, I'm sorry, the output reac reaction function of each firm in the market. So what's the ORF or the best response function for each of the two firms. So uh, to do that, okay, what we do is um, to get the ORF. So the ORF uh, of a particular firm is, uh, we can obtain it by solving. Okay, so solving for the firm's FOC, FOC for a maximum profit. And if you recall, okay, that's... Um, MRI is equal to MCI, uh, where uh, I is equal to either firm one or firm two. And from there, you can get uh, the quantity, the Carnot equilibrium quantity, which satisfies the Carnot things that we discussed in the last video. So let's try and do that. So uh, we need to get, uh, so we have one for firm one and we have one for firm two. So we need to get their revenues and their uh, costs, of course. So revenue one is just equal to P times Q1. So we subs, uh, we need to uh, note this one, okay, which is P is uh, essentially, right, 100 minus 0 0.01 Q, okay, uh, times Q1. But if you recall, right, Q is uh, Q1 plus Q2, so this is, 100 minus 0 0.01 Q1 plus Q2 uh, times Q1. So this is 100 minus 0 0.01 Q1 uh, minus 0 0.01 Q2 times Q1, right? And what we get is uh, your the revenue function is equal to 100 Q1 minus 0 0.01 Q1 squared minus 0 0.01 Q1 Q2. And we can get uh, marginal revenue. So marginal revenue is just the partial derivative of R1 with respect to Q1. And that's just equal to 100 minus, so bring down 2, 2 times 0 0.01, that's 0 0.02 Q1 minus 0 0.01 Q2. Right, so that's RMR, and the M, uh, for firm 2, okay, so let's do the same, so that's R2, that's P times Q2, which is equal to 100 minus 0 0.01 Q times Q2, but again, this is Q1 plus Q2, so 100 minus 0 0.01 Q1 plus Q2 times Q2, that's equal to 100, minus 0 0.01 Q1 minus 0 0.01 Q2 times Q2, then simplifying R2 is equal to um, 100 minus, uh, we have here 
0.01 Q1, Q2, minus 0.01 Q2 squared. Okay, so that's that. Then for MR2, uh, so MR2 is equal to the partial of R2 with respect to Q2. That's going to be equal to, um, that's going to be, oh, we forgot the Q2 here. That's 100 minus 0 0.02 Q2 uh, minus 0 0.01 Q1. Okay, so uh, symmetric functions in this case. And we have in both cases uh, MC. MC is just the uh, the derivative of your, the respective cost function with respect to each quantity. So that's just forty for uh, for firm one and for firm two. That's also forty because they have a similar cost structure. So DC two DQ two. That's just equal to forty. Right. And what we do is we're gonna equate the two. So if we equate the two. For firm 1, MR1 equals MC1. Okay, we're going to get 100 minus 0 0.02 Q1 minus 0 0.01 Q2 is equal to 40. Then if we uh, isolate everything, so if we're going to do this one, so that's Q1 on one side. And if we simplify, we're going to get 3000 minus uh, 1 half Q2. So notice... Uh, this is our Q1 star, and notice that Q1 star is some function of Q2, right? Uh, and essentially, this is the output reaction function of uh, firm 1, right? So this is the output reaction function of firm 1. If we're going to do MR2 is equal to MC2, this is going to be equal to 100 minus uh, 0 0.02 Q2 minus 0.01q1 equal to 40. We do the same simplification, but instead of isolating it with respect to q1, let's do q2. So that's q2 is equal to 3000 minus 1 half q1. Okay, and this is q2 star. And we notice that q2 star is some function of q1. And this is the output reaction function of uh, firm 2. Okay, and... Uh, these are the two output reaction functions of each firm. And we'll see how these factor in to solving the Carnot uh, equilibrium. So uh, the next question that we need to do is essentially we need to sketch out the output reaction function of each firm. And that's going to be here. Okay, so if we graph these two lines, okay, so notice this is a linear function. This is also a linear function. So they correspond to some linear line. And you'll see that the red line is the ORF of firm 1. The uh, blue line is the ORF of firm 2. So what we can do is uh, we can uh, solve for the Carnot equilibrium in this case by substituting firm 1's uh, ORF into firm 2 or vice versa. So if you remember, Q1 is equal to 3000 minus 1 half uh, Q2. And uh, Q2 is equal to 3,000 minus 1 half Q1. So we say we uh, substitute uh, Q2 into Q1. And that should be Q1 is equal to 3,000 minus 1 half times 3,000 minus 1 half Q1. And this is going to be equal to 3,000 minus 1,500 uh, plus... 1 fourth q1 q1 is here then if you simplify everything okay uh this is gonna be q1 is equal to uh 1500 plus 1 over fourth q1 then uh you get 0 0.75 q1 equal to 1 5 divide both sides by 0 0.75 0 0.75 you get q1 star is equal to 2000 and to get the uh, equilibrium output of the other firm, which is firm 2, we do the same process. So if you recall, Q2 star is equal to 3,000 minus 1 half times 2,000, which we found as Q1 star. So this is going to be equal to 3,000 minus 1,000, which is also 2,000. So Q2 star is equal to 2,000. So those are the equilibrium quantities, and we can verify it using this graph. 
And we said that the intersection of the output reaction function is the Carnot equilibrium. And in fact, it does exist at 2000. So we have verified that our uh, equilibrium output for each firm is correct in this case. So that's a simple uh, exercise on how to solve for uh, the Carnot equilibrium output and a Carnot duopoly uh, using calculus. And in the next video, we're going to start our discussions on the Bertrand model and we'll do subsequent examples on that as well. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next video.